what is up you guys it is parker here with deco exchange y'all we've got another great tutorial out today and i just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel like the video down below and at the very least y'all leave us a comment and let us know what you think hope you enjoy y'all we're gonna make a halloween wreath tonight y'all i need these cut in 10 inch strips so these are 10 inches They're going to be 10 inch squares and we're going to need 10 of them. 10. On the frame, we're going to take our two 10 inch squares, roll them up, not tight. Don't roll them tight, roll them loose. Put them in an X. And then we're gonna add one of these X's all the way around the bottom. All right. So now that we did two 10 inch curls all the way around, now we're gonna make 20 inch ruffles. Let's do more than 20. Let's do uh, 25 inch ruffles since we're using two different colors. We're only gonna need four cuts. Because we have two layers, we only need four, right? We need eight. What we're gonna do is curl in one edge, curl in the other edge, and then we're just gonna crunch it right down the middle. And then we're gonna add one of these ruffles all the way around the top. All right, we're gonna alternate these colors. And just go around the top. All right, y'all look how this looks, alternating the colors. Y'all let's get our sign ready. All right, so getting this stapled down. Y'all, we're gonna need some hot glue. All right. Let's staple our four corners in. All right, gonna get some glue on here. We're gonna start working on a bow. All right. Y'all, we're gonna do about a 
10 inch tail. Let's do about a seven inch tail on both sides. Y'all, we're basically gonna make a little terry bow, I think, on this one. Let's do about a 10 inch tail on this side. You can get the bow maker at decoexchange.com when it's in stock. Y'all, so we're just making little loops. Our loops get slightly smaller every time. All right, we're almost done with this bow. This is backwards. Y'all, these little eyeballs are doing what they want, not what I want. <clears throat> All right, let's tie off our bow. All right. Y'all, I'm going to add my sign towards the top. So y'all, all I did was run that pipe cleaner through the deco mesh and then wrapped it around the sign, the sign, wrapped it around the frame. Y'all, here's the bow that we just made. We're gonna add that bow right down here. All right. Y'all, so this is what we look like so far. Let's get our tails trimmed up. All right. Y'all, for ribbon tails, I always cut my tails 14 inches. So I like to use a ribbon tail board. Um, it's pre-measured to 14 inches and just makes life easy for me. So I'm gonna need eight of these. Right? We're going to put one of these in every other twist. All right. 
We're going to need eight of these as well. All right, we need eight of these two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. All right, now that we have all eight of these cuts, let's finish dovetailing them. So y'all, we're gonna layer two of our ribbons on top of each other. And we're gonna fold them in half. All right, y'all. So all we're doing is taking our ribbon, laying it on top of each other, and folding it over. Pinching it right in the center. You want that pinch to be nice and tight. And then just add it in your twist tie and get it good and tight. All right, y'all, we're going to continue this all the way around the top. All right, check it out. 
Y'all, this is what I call a basic deco mesh wreath. All right, y'all, I'm out. Join us at wreathbakingclass.com. Me, Coach Fancy, and Mel, can't wait to see you in there. Good night, y'all.